cares and perplexities is ended and the night is now upon us. The night should be a time of peace and tranquility, a time to relax and be calm. We have need of a soothing story to banish the disturbing thoughts of the day, to set at rest our troubled minds and put at ease our ruffled spirits. And what sort of story shall we hear? Ah, it will be a familiar story. A story that is so very, very old, and yet it is so new. It is the old, old story of love. Two lovers sat on a park bench with their bodies touching each other, holding hands in the moonlight. There was silence between them. So profound was their love for each other, they needed no words to express it. And so they sat in silence on a park bench with their bodies touching, holding hands in the moonlight. Finally, she spoke. Do you love me, John? she asked. You know I love you, darling, he replied. I love you more than tongue can tell. You are the light of my life, my sun, moon, and stars. You are my everything. Without you, I have no reason for being. Again, there was silence as the two lovers sat on a park bench, their bodies touching, holding hands in the moonlight. Once more, she spoke. How much do you love me, John, she asked. He answered, how much do I love you? Count the stars in the sky. Measure the waters of the ocean with a teaspoon. Number the grains of sand on the seashore. Impossible, you say? Yes, and it is just as impossible for me to say how much I love you. My love for you is higher than the heavens, deeper than Hades, and broader than the earth. It has no limits, no bounds. Everything must have an ending except my love for you. There was more of silence as the two lovers sat on a park bench with their bodies touching, holding hands in the moonlight. Once more, her voice was heard. Kiss me, John, she implored. And leaning over, he pressed his lips warmly to hers in fervent osculation.